This video demonstrates the Hide Channels feature of the DynePro 2 software. Here we are looking at a standard DynePro 2 current data screen. And as you're probably aware, when you added a particular instrument on a screen, you can select the channel that will be displayed on that instrument. And this channel select window that pops up that allows you to select the channel. Currently, this is showing every single channel that is defined in the mask that we're currently using in the DynePro 2 system. This is uh, quite a few hundred channels. So it would be nice if we could limit that to just the channels we care about when we're interested in doing real-time data display. In the DynePro 2 mask editor, we're looking at a very simple mask file that just has one device. And here are 20 timer channels that come with any two TDC 2000 master device. And the purposes of those channels is for test profile programming and that sort of thing. But generally, um, you don't need to look at those on a real-time data screen. So let's say we want to hide those so the operator doesn't have to worry about those. If we just edit one of these channels on, and click then on the Specs tab, you can see there's a checkbox that says Hide from Operator. If you check that and then say Accept, then it will not show up in the Channel Select box when the um, operator is designing a screen and trying to select a channel to show on an instrument. Typically you're going to want to do this for multiple channels at once. So let's highlight all of the timer channels and go into the multi-channel select dialog. It shows us that we have 20 channels selected. Click visibility and click hide from operator and then OK. So we just hit all of those channels. So in a real mask file that's used um, in, in an actual dino cell, um, we could go through here and hide any of the channels that we don't want to be shown to the operator. And when they are editing their screens, you can see that there's just a selection of channels that makes it much easier to um, work with the overall screen editor. Now, if you want to override that behavior, you hold down the control key when you click select, and it will then go ahead and show all of the channels in case you need to get one that was hidden in the mask editor. The hide channel feature also affects channels in the data viewer and reporting tools. So if we click on a column and wanted to change a channel that's being shown. You can see that it's restricted to just the channels that are not hidden. Again, if you hold down the control key and then click that column, it will override that feature and show all of the channels that are in the mask. The hide channels feature was introduced in DynePro 2 version 1.7.44.